Good afternoon. My name is Asano from Dainik Corporation. I belong to New Development Second Group. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity today. I'd like to make my presentation in Japanese. This is my title. Before going to the substance, I'd like to briefly introduce my company, Dainik Corporation. Our company is founded in Nishijin area of Kyoto. It was founded in 1989 as book binding cloth company. Originally, our company was named as Nippon Cloth Industry. However, in 1972, our company name was changed to Dainik Corporation, and we celebrated our 100th anniversary this August. We have a plant, some plants in Japan, and I belong to Shiga plant. These are our main products. We started our business as book clothing company. Our core technology is coating technology. We have a lot of applications now. From the left, we have block book clothes. Wallpaper, carpet, floor materials. Also, we have filters and interior for cars and non weaving cloth, ink ribbons, and also uh, lids for food, and also water absorbent sheets. Those are materials or products where we use coating technologies. Now let me talk about the newly developed products. As I mentioned, a key technology is coating technology. By utilizing this coating technology, by using single wall carbon nanotube, we are producing transparent conductive films. We use two ball for these products. Transparent conductive film, as the name indicates, is transparent and conductive. The applications include uh, many things. For high resistance things, it can be used for anti static material. For low resistance things, it can be used for touch panels, organic EELs, electronic papers, or solar batteries and electromagnetic wave suppression. For low resistance applications, currently we have indium titanium oxide. ITO is the main uh, substance. However, recently the supply of ITO and the cost of ITO has been difficult. So we've been developing alternative material. These are examples of new materials. As compared to other materials, ITO has lower conductivity and uh, lower resistance and higher conductivity. However, vacuum environment is necessary for production, so production efficiency is very low. Flexibility is also very low. As compared to ITO, single wall carbon nanotube may not have as good conductivity as uh, the ITO, 
there is no other downside. Therefore, if we can reduce the resistance, it can be used as an alternative to ITOs. So our aim is to reduce the resistance of a single wall carbon nanotube. Commonly used technology to lower the resistance is to removal of dispersant, nitric acid doping, and CNT orientation. Those are the commonly used technologies to lower resistance. The most difficult but most effective one is the uh, uniform dispersion and stabilization of signal wall carbon nanotube. By using this technology, I tried to lower uh, the resistance. I applied it on PET film surface. By doing that, we could produce transparent conductive film. The performance of this film, the resistance is 10 to the power of 2 to 10 to the power of 3. We could reduce the uh, resistance. But ITO is 10 to the power of 1, so it's not as good as ITO. However, if you look at other characteristics, it's more flexible than ITO. And also, roll to roll production is possible, so productivity is much higher. As compared to ITO, conductivity may be lower. However, there are advantages. Therefore, going forward, we would like to utilize those characteristics which are not existent with ITOs. What are the potential applications of transparent conductive films? Let me introduce some. If you look at the upper right, this is a windshield. By using it as windshield, you can combine it with AR technology. Something like car navigation can be combined. It's flexible and transparent, so you can create flexible touch panels, flexible solar cells, also transparent heat generating films. Those applications are only examples. There may be many other potential applications. This is one another example. This is transparent heat generating films. This is the structure of heat, transparent heat generating films. It's uniformly applied on the surface, and then metal electrode is placed. At both ends of electrode, we apply electricity. By doing this, we can generate heat. The characteristic of this film is that it's very transparent, flexible, and fast heating rate, and uniform heat generation function. Lower panels is the images from thermography. As you can see, if you increase the voltage, the heat generated goes higher. 
And as the conductivity is lower, heat generating, generating capacities go, goes up. As to the uh, temperature, there are various factors. We can control the heat by controlling various factors. Therefore, it can be used in many different applications. This is one example. The panel at the upper right is an application in a greenhouse for agricultural use. By far infrared heating, you can increase the temperature inside of the greenhouse. It can also be used to melt snow. By using it as a window glasses, it can be used for anti-fog. Transparency may not be needed here, but it may be used for floor heating. It can be produced in small size and big size. So as it is very flexible, it can be used for bent surface. It can be used both interior and exterior, and it can be produced in smaller sizes and bigger sizes. So there are many potential applications. This is my summary slide. We have developed a low resistance conductive film using single wall CNT. However, in order to make it an alternative of ITO, we'll have to reduce the resistance furthermore. So, instead of using it as alternative of ITO, we can use it for other applications. One example application is transparent heat generating film. Uh, the heat generating film is exhibited at the booth. Please come and see it if you are interested. Thank you very much.